Hello and so welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as the Ever here, my Sith Acolyte. Here within the halls of the Sith Academy itself. Where we last left off, we were in the tombs of Tulak Horde. Retrieving an ancient tablet split into three for Lord Zash. Before we go return the complete tablet and the text, we are going to speak to Lord Aberon here and also have a few other discussions with other Sith who may require our aid. So... Yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, alien, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. And what about me? I'm not human. I'm not descended from Sith blood. The training of aliens as Sith is an aberration. You will never rise to power. It is your masters who concern me. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. It would be an honor. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the Overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. I see. And he is are here on behalf of the Emperor, he claims. And we must analyze four Sith overseers making use of this scanning holocron. Oh, very well. Overseer Regate. There is another Overseer teaching at the back of the academy itself. So we have Lord Cestus here. We even get to test the blood purity of Inquisitor Arzanon, the one who dared question whether or not we were true to the Empire or a heretic, and asked us to scan various other acolytes, other initiates. Seems we have a duel occurring at the moment. <laughs> By a lone assassin 
and an assassin and his companion. <laughs> Won't find a better bargain. Come back anytime. The final individual we need to scan is Lord Solence, who is located next to the shuttle, which would take us back to the Korriban Orbital Station or the Imperial Fleet. We have yet to earn permission to make use of said shuttle. But we have to go there for another purpose. Ah, now we've scanned everyone with the Holocron blood scanner here. We can report our success. Each time you visit a new world, near where you land, there will be a mission terminal, known as the Heroic Mission Terminal here, where you can see how many Heroic Missions are on that world. As it happens, some worlds, there will be quest givers who will give you the Heroic Mission. Sometimes, unfortunately, those quest givers have been removed, like the one for Armed and Dangerous here. We could pick up the Hate Machine as well, but that quest giver is still around. So we're going to go have a chat with him. The archaeologist here. Come closer, Acolyte. The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. Who are you? I am Efren Zell. For generations, my family has studied the tombs of Korriban, traveling from one to the next to learn the history of the Sith. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Keep going. What red engine? The machine was his life's work. A perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the academy, they say the red engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works. And I know how to fuel it. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine, but unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde's secrets, I beg of you. Bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of. So, a few things about heroic missions. First things first, once you've picked up the quests, you will also get a key mission item, this heroic transport, which will, try, which will take you to a safe area just outside of where the quest takes place. Heroic missions are missions of increased difficulty, 
Typically, you'll find heroic 2 plus missions, which indicate they are recommended to be completed by the player and maybe even a companion. Though it highly recommends that you may also may wish to be in a party to hasten the completion of the quest. There are still a few heroic 4 missions, though most of them were changed with the Knights of the Fallen Empire expansion. Yeah, heroic areas are areas of increased difficulty, but also have greater rewards. In fact, if we look at our quests here, we'll gain a fair amount of experience but similar to completing our conquest, we will gain two pieces of armor and the item level of that armor will be determined by our character's current level. So we are back here around the tomb of Tulacord. And we are here for two separate purposes. One of which is here within the machine vault. Oh. Seen someone there uh, fail to give the red engine its sacrifice. Heroic missions sometimes also have a bonus mission attached to them. I don't believe either of these two do have a bonus mission. But when you've completed the primary objective, heroic missions will auto-complete. So if you're interested in getting the full rewards of the bonus mission, you best focus on completing that first. But here is the red engine. Seems we gave the engine the needed sacrifice it required, and it broke open this artifact here to display a hidden tablet. The red engine created by the ancient Sith Lord Tulacord. The red engine was an infernal machine powered by hate and blood. Located deep within its creator's tomb, legends hold that the that those that unlock the secrets of the terrible device will gain access to the hidden teachings of Tulacord himself. Despite this potential prize, most scholars who have studied the Red Engine eventually given up in frustration, thwarted by the complexities 
of the sinister invention. And yet again, we have succeeded where many have failed, thanks to the advice of the archaeologist. And we gain the new title of Imperial Scholar. Before we head back into the archives here, there is an item of interest. We saw one of these earlier, while in the wilds. But here, buried in the red sand, is another Datacron. An ancient technology once used by the Infinite Empire. This datacron contains a red matrix shard. And this datacron is still active. Matrix shards can be combined with other datacrons. Sorry, other matrix shards, I should say. To create unique relics on the world of Drum and Cass. You need at least three of these matrix shards. And the color of the shard does matter. It had it mattered more many years ago when the color determined what attribute it actually improved. Nowadays it's of less import. And we have another heroic area here. A powerful and dangerous Sith named Lord Sundar has gone mad and now roams the tombs of Tulak Horde. If you can eliminate him, you have been promised a great reward. He and his mind-controlled followers are here. some damaged droids here and before the sarcophagus is that Lord Sundar oh dear hoping to avoid activating any of the guard droids.
Hmm. We're making many friends. fell but we succeeded in bringing down the Sith Lord himself and we also earned our next level what armor did we earn ourselves we, we earned our first implant And this armor is the same as what we're wearing, but of a higher item level. You'll notice that, despite us being level 12, we have been de-leveled down to level 10. That is to stop us from being too powerful on the various worlds we may visit, so that the enemies will still pose a challenge. To be fair, we should have maybe went and tackled the Red Engine and Lord Sundar with a companion. But we managed. We may as well make our way back now to the Sith Academy. Finally, the assistant overseers would like to have a word with us. Finally, you arrive. Hmm. As disgusting as Overseer Harkon said. Regardless, Lord Zash has made it clear that all new acolytes must learn martial skills as well as face their trials. Though why anyone thinks you can be taught is beyond me. Just point me towards the trainers. At least you're an obedient slave. You will find the instructors in the Academy's archive. Hurry, and try not to embarrass your betters. Uh -huh. Are you deaf and dumb? Get going! <laughs> so the assistant overseers are guiding us to where our class trainers are located here within the Sith Academy. Of course, there were some class trainers back in the tomb of Ajunta Paul, but they don't expect you to always go back to those trainers for any new abilities. What dark secret shall I share with you? Be gone. 
Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. What does it matter? The ancient Sith are dead. It matters because the ancient Sith are the source of our power. They are everything we are. The holocron, it glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What's your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. Uh, someone is happy requesting duels, it seems. Someone slayed this juggernaut companion. He lays dead on the floor. So. What else? <laughs> now he's just realized. I wonder if he even knows what to do when your companion's dead. I wonder how concerned he is. <laughs> He's logged out. Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. Well, if nothing else, I suppose... No, let us do one more task. There is an exploration mission available here by the Overseer, who we also scanned for the purity of their blood. Come here, child. Do you intend to explore the Academy? To know the world that gave birth to the Sith? You should linger here a while. I am Overseer Raggate, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential. And I can help you if you like. I hope you plan to elaborate. You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the Rite of Blood and Bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. You have my complete, undivided attention. In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyrax, my leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls, an altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. And once I reach the bones? You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I'll admit that does sound intriguing. To complete the right is to accept one's death. To steal one's own mortality and drown it in the fluid of life. That is the symbolic purpose. But it is also a trial of power. As are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength. And to grant it, I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. I see. Another trial of power. A trial of blood. Here is the blood pool, but first we must locate one of the skulls upon the altar. 
just stands just before us. We shall pass all of our trials, so that our skull is not added to the pile. And within the blood pool is a giant claw slug. the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. I know you brought the red stain scar, and I must say, I am pleased. I completed the rite then. As so many Dark Lords have before you. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift. But more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. There's much I can read in the bones. Tell me what you see. I want to know. Very well. Listen carefully. When your final trial comes, beware the Shadow Killer. It can be bound, but never controlled. What's a Shadow Killer? That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself. And you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. You wear the Shadow Killer. It may be bound, but never controlled. Leave me be. I have done all I can for you. A shadow killer. Very well. We shall go see Overseer Hawken. We'll take a break once again, but when we come back, we will return the completed tablet to the Overseer and await our next trial. Our batch of potentials is ever so more spinning down the one chosen by Lord Zash must be getting near thank you all for joining me with even more Star Wars The Old Republic as always feel free to leave a comment if you so wish and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time until then though take care bye bye now <laughs>